What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva, and today we're gonna to be making an Old Pal. So an Old Pal is a cocktail that is credited to Harry McElhone of Harry's American Bar in Paris. Although this one was created most probably when Harry was working at Chiros in Paris, or Ciro's, C-I-R-O-S, I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced, um, in Paris around 1921, and that is where uh, Harry, um, published his first edition of uh, Harry's ABC of Mixing Cocktails. It was actually called Harry of Ciro's ABC of Mixing Cocktails. Um, the cocktail inspiration was credited to a good friend of his named William Sparrow Robertson, who was the um, New York Herald's sports editor in Paris at the time, and was such a frequent guest of um, McElhone's that he kind of created this drink in honor of him and then put it in Harry's ABC of mixing cocktails. Uh, and then it went on to be a regular pour at uh, Harry's club, sorry, uh, at the New York, at the New York bar in Paris, which Harry then took over and called it Harry's New York bar or Harry's American bar in Paris. All right, that's what I got for you on this. Now, the other thing is that there's some conflicting specs on this. I am going to be doing the older, oldest specs that I know, but in the show notes, I have also posted two different specs, uh, one from Jim Meehan, the other one from the Milk and Honey slash Attaboy guys uh, who uh, do various uh, specs on this drink, uh, but I'm just going to try and do the oldest one that I know in the video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to add one ounce of dry vermouth into our glass. It's real easy. Just It's a Negroni variation, so just like a Negroni. And then an ounce of Campari. And then an ounce of rye whiskey. And we're gonna just add some ice to our uh, To our mixing glass, we're gonna add, I did not complete that thought. We are going to add some ice to our mixing glass and stir it. That's what I should have said. And just stir it down to temperature. Now, keep in mind that when you're stirring things with very cold ice, it's such high quality cold ice that you have to stir it for a bit longer than you would think necessary to get it down to the right temperature. There we go. That's about right. And then we're going to use our... See, this is actually like a kind of old school strainer meant for a mixing glass, but not necessarily a julep, stra julep strainer. And I really enjoy this kind of vintage style um, uh, strainer. I got it from Barfly Mixology Gear, which is one of our tool sponsors, and you should definitely check them out if you can, or if you want to. Then we're just going to add our cocktail to our glass and pull off a nice orange peel to garnish. A little. There we have it. Let's give it a taste. Bitter and dry. The rye gives it a little more body. And you get those kind of like, you get those notes from like a barrel aged spirit in there, but it's like really clean, really dry. The Campari is just like nice and bitter. The Campari pairs so well with the dry vermouth. And you get that sweetness, and then of course you get that nice orange kick. Now, the directions for this cocktail a lot of times says that you can garnish with an orange or a lemon. And the way that I sort of break that down is that lemon has a sharper flavor and uh, orange has kind of a sweeter flavor, but I feel like the orange 
Not that I feel like, actually. It's pretty well known that orange goes very well with Campari, so I prefer an orange peel on this particular cocktail. There you have it, my friends. Uh, Harry McElhone's Old Pal.